Charlotte Wayne, Carmen Glover are here with another episode of Code Rain, where we're gonna find out you who everyone else is and find Master out who our Master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own, solving cases. I've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this. We thought all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions. Then you walked in. Well, say it was my introduction. I see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. What? You still want to do introductions? With the imposter too? <laughs> Oh, you wanna, you wanna, don't you wanna benefit? <laughs> it's vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. These two asshole issues aren't the bad guy. All the more reason the due to this perplexing circumstance. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? I'm guessing it would be, it's, uh, for me, uh, for me, it's either the old, uh, it's either the old man, or it's gonna be the... Or the, uh, I feel like the guy. old man and the girl are the first, like, the little girl, the first ones to die, right? I can see the little and one dying very I, easily, very quickly. Yeah, cat ears, little girl, or the regular now, size girl. Let's begin. Tall girl to uh, be the bad guy or something. That's All my right, who are you? I want to know you. Old men are uh, always first. too cool. Allow me to introduce myself. I. I'm Zilch Alexander. Oh. Oh, buddy. You definitely have your crush, I guess. I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me Nature's Mediator. I love people, hey, nature, you and might the die, my man. between them. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? Rumor has it that one by one, everyone involved with the dam's construction died, all cursed by a sunken ritual site. It was a once in a century difficult case. The one who solved it was none other than myself. There wasn't much to it. The culprits were locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves. The strange part right. is that all 52 villagers were in on it. They all kept their lips sewn shut to protect the secret. I'll let you figure out what that means. When harmony between man and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Nature's mediator? He does look like a good detective. Though he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. I figured... I'll my... describe my forte as well. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, but this is an emergency. My forte is animal investigation. I can control animals as I wish and recruit them from my inquiries. Quite fitting for the philanthropist that I am. Though useful in many ways, I mainly use it to gather intel. It allows me to serve as a target while remaining undetected. As a basic rule, I can Birds only control four-legged animals. Thing for any Less intelligent animals are honest, easier to control. If someone had the ability to control birds, they would be overpowered for getting I often them. use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. Unfortunately, I that can't show it too. off right now, because there aren't any mice on this train. Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. He really is impressive. I just, I, I just like to think you me that is kind of all a laser eye. Right? With love, I yield to the next person. Like, could you imagine the old man just has a laser eye? Like, that's his bit. He just has a laser I eye. I Eraser. Awesome. I come from a detective agency on the awesome. front lines, far from here. Front lines and what? Sangue. Sangue Eraser. Perhaps. 
Perhaps right, you Sanji. expect an introduction, but I have nothing to say. Let the past melt like ice in an evening's drink. That's how I live my life. My forte is thoughtography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. Oh. That's all for me. There's no need for any further explanations. Zeus. And this a laser sight about him. He's just sending, I guess, laser images. I guess I don't know. I tried. I mean, it could just be a replacement eye, and we're assuming that yeah, that right. it hits something directly. That it's really it's just I'm from the detective branch in the eastern slums. Okay. Maybe you're maybe you're you're justified. They call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke illegal immigrant. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was in an upstanding home living an upstanding life. My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso. Because they went after him, they were murdered. Their necks were cut open right in front of me. All right, Sasuke. That's awful. I ran away to protect yeah, myself. Yeah, I mean, awful, I jumped on a yeah. ship at the port. I didn't know where the ship was going. That was the moment I threw away my past and my home. Did you really throw... No, I guess... I guess throwing away doesn't mean you don't acknowledge it. You just don't... You just... You just that's not where you are anymore, I guess. Because, like, I, first when you threw, said throw it away, I was like, wait, I mean, doesn't that mean that you just don't acknowledge it anymore? But then you are acknowledging it right now. I guess it kind of does. It depends on, like, what he necessarily means. But yeah, I feel like I guess, it's yeah. just, like, I threw I away the media the access to my did life. Everything Which, honestly, is probably survive. over anyways. I managed to survive until now, thanks to luck. Oh god. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. But I also wanted revenge. I Good. can't stand evil. But even if you ain't evil, I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. Cool. If I can't figure out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, then I just beat up both of them. Kill or be killed is my motto. <laughs> okay. Hey, Flowey. He looks scary, that's... but that's not all. I think there's a deep no, sense within him. I can't share yeah, details about my forte. Just know it's kind of like radar. Wait, it's radar? Interesting. That's all you're going to tell us? Yeah, us. Us all in the audience. What is it? You got a problem with that, you tiny runt? Not at all. You sure are a frail looking kid, aren't you? And pale to boot. Like disaster's got its claws on you. You sure nothing weird is haunting you? No way. <laughs> I didn't hear a ghost or anything, the no. has gotta be tough. How about a little training? What? First, you'll need to get used to stab wounds. We'll start with an ice pick. Oh! And scissors. And a fruit knife. No then thanks. A butcher knife. And a cleaver. Then a machete. What about a switchblade, you know? No, really? I'm fine. You're skipping those <laughs> couple steps, man. Too bad. Yeah, it's still a knife inside him. I mean, he'll die faster. After all, that is the goal, right? Right. We're trying to go faster. <laughs> I guess. Alright, what are you, uh, tall oh, girl? Young man. Uh, me? No, no, yeah. The, literally, I think you're the only one who fits this qualification. It's like, out of everyone here, you are the only one who looks That's young. That's right. Come here. Stand before me. Uh, hey? Okay. She's making me Why? comfortable. Uh, whoa. Huh? Oh. What's going what? on? Is our power like learning about us me. through hugs? Me measuring. <laughs> uh, uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my Stay god. Stay still for just a second. <laughs> I'll be quick. Uh, what? We need to start cosplaying and then we can do we can do like the reverse of my dress up darling. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh... Thank you. That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. My name is Melanie Goldmine. My home is rather far north from here. Up there is a branch so, with detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. So you're gonna be killed because if we have you, then you're kind yeah. of you kind of solved the case of yeah, art, art, medium. Like this is a, like. I can also, I don't. The souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Summon a soul? Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Yeah, that, that's a good question. Yes, of course. Oh. But there is one condition. I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. So you need to raid their closet. Okay. Only by wearing their okay. clothes can I summon their soul. Okay. So it has to be like what they died people smaller than me. Well, no, not or specifically they died, just bigger. whatever they wore oh, on their regular the basis. Must match. It doesn't meet the specific clothes they died in. No. Okay. At least that's how I took it. I don't think they meant the immediate clothes, I just think it was whatever, like, whatever they know I wore, I thought. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of the question. Oh, so if a hobo dies, you're like, sorry, can't put on a cardboard box. Okay, I don't Sounds really more like care. like a preference than a condition. Clothes make right. them out. They reveal all about one's livelihood. Like skin worn over skin. That's yeah. what clothes are all about. Why were you really don't me? like you. Consider that when compared to bare skin, Clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. I mean, you're not wrong. The common, the yes. common people Are you? wear clothes. That's yes, you're not wrong. That's true. Therefore, but clothes it's a... are an expression of a person's identity and originality. Oh, okay. Actually, I agree with that heavily because I know I love, I love wearing bright things. You have to it think is about how all of the expression of it, but it's not the only naked. expression of it. To judge someone on it entirely based on that one factor is just extremely uh, close-minded. Ironically close-minded. Uh, ghosts wear clothing because those clothes <laughs> are part of their identity. I mean, you're not wrong. Whenever I think of ghosts in media, unless if it's like a, like they're like a, um, like a boo scenario where they're just like a white, uh, like, like a Maybe. solid color, like unless they're a solid color. They right. do actually don't no wear clothes, so. Now that you mention it, but yeah. usually so they don't get the X rating. That's why, despite your amnesia, <laughs> exactly. I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Really? And can you tell my what who I am by my hair? Your uniform really? is undoubtedly you can tell everything about me. Tied by the WDO, and I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Which means I really am a okay, master detective? Presumably, assuming that you... I mean, no, that, that would seem to support that, yeah. I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I, I... have to say. Why? I'm the medium detective Melanie. I'm so confused why... Nice to meet you like, 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 I, it's that's always, that's like always a mystery whenever there's an amnesia case. It's like, okay, what, what, what important thing did you forget and you're gonna remember in, like, the last arc? But, like, this is... I, I really wonder what it could this be. Like, are we the main villain or something? Right. Like, do we, like, blank or something later on and we're, like, the real criminals of a crime? And no one's framing us. Introduce myself. Yes. A subjective observation of one's own self-image explained objectively. Yes. Uh, are it's you almost okay? Possible. Did I do something that caused you uh, concern? Uh, no, you just sound like an AI. An AI. That's all. Uh, no, no, it's just you oh. seem to be having difficulty introducing yourself. I rarely have a need to do so. So I was considering what approach to take. After all, is there such a thing Fair as point. a self in the first place? All I am is a bundle of nervous tissue reacting to external stimuli. If I had to, I guess I'd call myself 
Poochie Lapman. Okay. Poochie. I don't agree with you necessarily on that either. Huh. Poochie Lapman. I, I kind of like that first name, Poochie. So, your name is Poochie then? Poochie is a really Names cool name. I like that. Okay, I look at the arbitrary there. labeling for self recognition. Symbols for categorization, nothing more. Right. To that end, categorization, so yeah, but that's still a important. Deed. Or so I, Gucci, believe. She seems a bit uh, odd. Most of the World Detective Organization's work is investigating unsolved mysteries. I was trusted with many bureaucratic. You know, that's usually any detective's work. My clients are many enterprises and politicians. Depending on the client, I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. Oh, you're the background check. Okay, you're the one who checks out. Ah, uh, you are not a criminal. <laughs> right. My forte is known as audio aptitude. Wait, so you just hear someone and you just get like their entire like background? When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers. Footsteps. Right, and she can hear everything. Heartbeat. That's what I thought. This advanced secret. No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Gucci, am around. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Uh, maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, I'm unable to hear things far away. Oh, I see. Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish, which is why I tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. So like me. <laughs> Being blessed with powers sure comes with I don't, I just close my ears to say, yeah, I'm good, chief. Did she always act in such a strange way? Or did it develop after she obtained her forte? I mean, that, I I'm assume sure it was always the way she talks. There's like no mannerisms that I'm sure, some, I'm sure it started out kind of like this, but I'm sure the power only made it the grade worse. Yeah, yeah, the power would only made it point, worse, I would tell say. Me this is like, that, like, she was somewhat like weird and like casual. You know what I bet? I bet she didn't know what it was before, and then it was like later on she found out about it, and then she learned how to stop it, but still, you know. Like, she probably had the power her whole or life, I could see, or, but she I never knew how to explain it. That she just is like that, and then once she got the power or whatever, it made it worse when she could actively use it. Yeah. Regardless, she I definitely has a distinct air about her. That is all I have to say about myself. Fair enough. <laughs> oh. Oh, God, yeah. no. No, fuck off. I don't want no. this. No, stop it. Shh. Don't you even. This We're not doing this. This a bit more normal. Ah, uh, no. No. Screw you. I don't want that. <laughs> Catboy, I know. Please, I, want, I want my cowboy, your boyfriend. I want him. <laughs> I Aside from having oh, amnesia, oh, God. is there anything else we should know about? Well, I got hit on the head like 14 times by books. It was. It really hurt me. And I then I started right. hearing voices in my head. It's really I weird. I still can't remember anything. If you really are a master detective. Then you should have some sort of forte. I have no idea. It's called thinking. Oh, young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes you usually wear? Or brands you like? You only inquired about clothing. Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. Hold on! <laughs> Apex, stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. The perplexing circumstance we face may have something to do with his memories. What? That's right, what I was wondering sense? about that. What do you mean by yeah. perplexing Please. circumstance? Yeah, boy. Did something happen? Well... Something unexpected <laughs> has occurred on our trip. Mm. What, what, what could it be? The number of people is off. Oh shit, someone's already dead. Okay. Someone <laughs> was dead before we arrived. <laughs> oh no. Oh, 
Oh, no. Uchi heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... It's just like 56, and it's just like everyone just didn't show up. Precisely five. Five? Five? One, two, that's you five. Wait, how are we off? One. Because there's one more. Oh, there's I see six, what you're saying. Two. Yeah. And it's like three. Or the sixth like one. Four. One that's not. So someone's not five. supposed to be here. Six. Ah, shit. There's six so no one's us. dead yet. Just someone has to be ejected. No, I, I also heard uh, from the WDO uh, that five master detectives will gather on board. Hence why when you called yourself a master detective, I was honestly surprised. I knew this job wouldn't be easy, but there's already a mystery before us. <laughs> this is getting exciting. Well, they all have their badges, so like, how can we argue with that? As is, like, like, in this world, are those I mean, easily to be yeah. fake? Like, how can we argue with that? Like, one out. There's an imposter among us. No, that's the funny do, do, game do, do, and all the kids do, 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 do. <laughs> It's not me. Hey. I... Think? Oh god, what is this face? I think it's just like bruh. Well, you're gonna contact the WDO and find out. That is true. Mistake. You should just be able to call for two like hey, who would you send on this yeah. assignment anyway? It's no use. I can't reach oh, them. Well, There's no signal. Man, here. we're in the, we're in a tunnel, huh? Damn, if only if only we weren't in a tunnel for this entire time. I know. <laughs> who could be uninvited six? I yes. see goddamn trees up there. <laughs> Damn, says, 5G! At you. I'm the most suspicious, especially with my amnesia in this situation. Could I be the imposter? <laughs> and I just can't I should've remember? been told! And I don't I see the kill button! I haven't even vented once yet! Alright, I got it. <laughs> hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. Oh yeah, it's real sharp. Is it gonna cut me? You may speak. I'll allow it. Why would I need your permission? Because <laughs> he's our no. leader. Yeah, exactly. The way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Wait, what? Huh? I'm gonna be more if the most us? suspicious one is the culprit. Oh. The run must have been attacked that is also by the true. real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. Oh, I see. I, I'm really surprised Logan's the one saying this. Like, I would have expected this from the Catboy, not... Like, not the, the he's the one defending you. To kill me by it does kind of make room. sense. He did say he was the one who would want to try to defend, like, the innocent. I guess, so yeah. So if you are and innocent, the I, mean, I guess that, like, Why might... they attack sense. Yuma? Um... To pretend to be a master detective and replace the runt on the train. The plan was going smoothly. The runt suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed, and the results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The run's gotta be tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. Then I thought you'd be the most useless one here. Why, thank you. <laughs> In other words, I was knocked out of the station because someone attacked me? But I don't think I've been injured. If, if someone did attack us, like right, right now, who, who, who are you guessing? If you had to make a guess right now, who do you think is the one who hit us? Because I don't know, and if I'm guessing, I'm kind of guessing the girl. Like the, like, like the, the, the clothes girl, girl. I'm kind of yes. of here. Artsy girl, I, like we both have the same, like, it, situation. Like, it's Artsy it's girl. Like, the specific info she knew, she could have gotten when she attacked us. Like, she didn't have to have a power. Right, that too. So, so like, out that there, is, right, that is she's the one who true. could have had the most, like, the reason she knew that wasn't because of her power, it was because of, like, she attacked us, you know? I don't think it could be the old guy, when, really. Like, I don't think it could be the little girl, either. I think it could be the old guy, but unlikely. I feel yeah. like it could be the little girl, also unlikely. And, and I feel neutral I about know, both I of these guys. I think like, they're possible, but I doubt I feel neutral about them. About their demeanor. Exactly. It's possible, but I don't think so. Excuse me. Um, I definitely My think it's the main. Is slightly different. Oh. Let's hear it. it okay. I'll allow it. Stop acting like we need to get your permission. 
I suspect that the entire situation is a test designed by the World Detective Organization. Really? Why would they that is a fair point. A, test? a WDO exam officer no, has disguised no. themselves as a member and is ascertaining our skills here. Oh, okay. If that were the case, right. That's you like might it's here a could possibly check. be the exam officer. Me? An exam no. officer? I gave this. Well, okay, no, no, exam we could have technically we could have given them the letter to make them not suspicious of us, but we still could have been that person. Right. 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 <laughs> Bring it on! I don't care if it's the WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got. What are you trying to do? Oh, fucking For now, dead. I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. And how are you going to do that? Like this. Let's go. What? Oh, radar. Yeah, radar. I, I thought it would not be as literal, but it is literally just I, radar. Gotcha. It is, I, it I, is just so nice. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah. Fucking. Oh, that fucking smile. We're in the clear, guys. What? What was that? A weird feeling overcame my whole body. No signs of the enemy. <laughs> Turns out there really are just six of us on this train right now. Um, what did you do? I used my forte, life detection. Oh, nice. I can detect life cool. in a 50 meter radius and pinpoint its location. The mechanism is a trade well, secret. The, probably the entire circumference of the train. Or diameter. We are diameter. the only ones on this train. It's a line. But what if, but what if, but, what if the hitman's a robot and he doesn't have life? He just has now, orders to kill us. That's what I was us. thinking. Like, <laughs> Sonic murder. You remember the murder Sonic? Yeah. Like, I was joking about that. Like. It's like what if it Talk is like you that? Want. But I if didn't you want to go. Verify that. that you're not lying. We're never gonna get anywhere if you That is not wrong. That's actually, is that is also, that is also true. If he's not on our side, he could totally be BSing us and be like, "Yeah, there's no one behind that door. I'm about to snipe you guys. Don't mind that red dot there." <laughs> I see. So Forte's come in handy at a time like this. Yeah, yeah. Superpowers kind of useful. That case, there's someone else with a power that can confirm if other passengers are on board. The heartbeat girl. She can listen for any heartbeat. Yep. Yo! I mean, I guess this is kind of obvious. There's, there's only a few um, people Gucci, here. Right. Would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Poochie, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their Oh, she would even be able to detect heartbeat. robots because unless if it's like a radio, heartbeat. like perfectly silent, which would be really hard. Silent. Like. Well, then again, the, it wouldn't really matter because the robot is the train in this situation. Well, so, like, the, you wouldn't question the robot being there. Well, no, I mean if there's like an android, not like if there's. I don't mean if the train. I'm talking about like there's a, uh, like a. Uh, What's a better word? Like a human-like robot that has no biological material. That's what That's I mean good. specifically. Not yeah. like AI on the train. I can understand that. But I thought, okay, I guess. But I don't think that like anyone really mentioned that. I don't know where you came that. No, no, that. I'm guessing. I, I was I was saying the okay, situation. Okay, I was okay. saying if, some, if there okay, was a human-like robot. Okay, you just bringing robot, up in case if it yes. does like, become a big like, thing. Okay. Yes, if, there's, if there was a human-like robot, the life detect wouldn't get it because it, it isn't living. It's a robot. But she would probably hear She would probably hear it no matter what because more than likely, it's even if it's a, ro if it's a robot, it can't stay quiet and super. Like, unless it knows it was going to get listened for, which... Unless there's a spy, which I guess there would be in this scenario. Actually, eh. Yes, please. Hey, what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. She's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, really? Well, that's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiots! <laughs> Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? 
I need to concentrate. Apex used his powers. And then we'll get the rest of that dialogue next time. If you enjoyed this video, do this up on screen. If you have any questions, send the comments below or to our Discord server. There's links in the description in our pad section. As well as their other medias in those same two places as their associate. On the left is from video from YouTube, and the right is the series Code Rain in its entirety. And we'll see you next time, fellow shades.